Hello and welcome to Conversations with Yvonne. I know before, uh, during the lockdown, we used to be able to talk to uh, sporting people on different venues, but we come back with a different format because I get to talk face-to-face uh, -face, uh, with the sports people. We're going to bring you different uh, sporting people uh, from the administrators, the players, the coaches, and today I've got a special guest. It was the first show that we're resuming and I decided to get... One of the most exciting talents currently in the Castle Lager Premier Soccer League, Bill Antonio. Bill Antonio plays for Dynamo, so I call him Blinky. I will tell you during the show why we got to the nickname Blinky. Blinky, should I say? Oh, how you say So, um, I guess where we, we need to start from is your full names. Those don't go to Bill Antonio. Do you have other names? Yeah, it's Bill Little Antonio. Bill Little Antonio. Yeah. So, Bill, let's, t let's talk about this sporting journey. When did it start? When did you start playing football? And Shagatanga say? Football. Uh, I think it was in preschool. Preschool, yeah. Grade zero. Just, you know, sports day, play football. And again and again and again. Now, if you're at home, you could play in the streets. But then, as time progressed, then I started joining other tennis. Then, yeah. My streets are good. streets are good. My streets are good. My streets are good. Street six or danger zone. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a danger zone. HKD. <laughs> yeah, HKD, HKD. But could you say, okay, fine. Pani, pani difference, you go tamba, you go to go tamba. You go tamba, you go to go to go to When did it become like serious, like saying, I think this thing will take me far. Now, now, tamba this game uh, for the rest of, for uh, years to come. I think, I think uh, the journey started in grade five, yeah. That's when I started becoming more serious with football. Then I could, I, I, I could tell by myself, how the two times I went to my streets, I didn't bore and I was bored. 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 And from Gillingham Primary School, how then did you get to, when you went to PE, did you, my parents are going to say PE, were you on scholarship, what was it? Yeah, I think it was in grade six, yeah, I was playing for Zorasego Football Academy, then we went for a tournament at Prince Edward School, then the coach is there, then recognized me, then afterwards they offered me a form one place, it was not a scholarship. Oh, you offered uh, for, for one place. Yeah. And uh, what was the transition like? I mean, there's a difference. You go to the primary and you go to the And then you go to a, a sporting school like Prince Edward. When you got there, I know you were also athletics captain. So yeah. when you got there, which sports did you start playing? Yeah, obviously, I, I did. In primary level, I was doing athletics and football. So going on to Prince Edward, I just pursued on both sports. And... A lot, what is the schedule like? Because I'm trying to understand, Guti, you, you're trying to pursue a sporting career. So how do you balance it with school? Is there a bias towards sport? Are you forced? Could you choro? Sport is like a part-time. What is it like? Yeah, uh, I, th I, I think I think most of most of the parents out there, they would be like, if they have a child, like, just like me, who does, who pursues on two careers, they would be like, when it's time for books, it's time for books. When it's time for sports, it's time for sports. But with my parents, it's, it's very different. They, they could say you should balance the both. So if, if I have to spend three hours in class, then three hours in training, there's no way that I could bias like I do four hours in class, then two hours in football. So even if I was to train up for about 10 hours, 10 hours between football and books, then I would divide them, five hours, five hours. So there was no like I would do this more than this. Because but is it true that at Prince Edward you, you are able to, let's say you want to focus more on the sports. Is, yeah. it, is it true or it's a myth that you can actually focus, let's say you, they realize you're a sporting person, you spend yeah. more time doing sporting than books, or if you, you're into books, then you do exactly what you know, obviously other students do. Yeah, I, th I, I, I think it depends. It depends with you. They, 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 they ask you what you want to do. Like, do you want to do sports only? But then... You can't, you can, but then you can't just do sports only. Like, because that would, that would literally mean that you, you just come to school doing sports. But doing sports only. But then general. it's a school, so you have to do both. So then they would force you to do both, <laughs> sports and books. So when you were at Prince Edward, were you still at Zivaraseko Academy? No, there, I then transferred to Prince Edward Academy. Academy. Yeah, now it's being called PE Academy. 
So Urugu PE Academy, what did you achieve? What do you remember the most things that happened during that yeah, time? The, yeah, I, I guess it, there's the, uh, the annual Oka Dewey tournament, like Tino Tendaka Dewey Oats, named that tournament after his father. So I guess it was in Form 1. And when I was in Form 1, I became the, the, the under-15 football team captain. So that tournament, we won that tournament. Then I was the MVP of that tournament. The most valuable player. Yeah. And from then on, was that was a builder into how you then got to the point Yeguti Dynamos now knocks on the doors? Or before, did you join another team from PE to Dynamos? What happened during that transition? Yeguti, you are a Papi Academy. Then from the moment that we then saw Yeguti, there's a youngster, a Dynamos, Anunzi Bilantoni. Yeah, I guess, I, I guess we all know the year when Coach Tony was coaching at PE. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that year I was in Form 1. So I used to, he used to call me and train with the under-20s. Wow. So then he then left. We, we went to Ngez, I guess. Then I started playing for the first team when I was in Form 2, Form 3, Form 4, Form 5. So then there's the Dynamo's Division 2 club. Mm -hmm. I just played one game. Then the next year... Which is 2021. 20, 20, 2021. That's when they. I, I, I was called. I, I, I was at school. 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 What was that like? Like, I can imagine. What if I'm five? And then I was like. Yeah, yeah. That, that previous year I had played the under 20s, Kosafa, uh, championships in South Africa. Then I was like. Ah, thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. <laughs> but, but, but do you remember? Are you, I, I don't know if you're like me. me I, I've got a very vivid memory of events that happened in my life. But do you remember where you were when that happened? Like when, when you got that call to say, Mangwana we Uchawasungus. And what you felt. And when you got home and telling your parents. No, you know, Panagato Shudwa. I don't know if you're asking, do you know what's going on? Do you know what's going on? Or it's something else like, I don't know what's going on in the coach. But then eventually, when I was so sick, I couldn't explain to anyone. But I got a call, and no one did training. So you know, everyone was very happy. Everyone, the whole family was very happy. But uh, where you come from, Gudzivara Sekwa, Kumara and Kwenyu, are they like any football people that maybe you you, you were envying to say, "Kune player yakati, kune player yakati." So when that happened, you're at least able to say, "But Kumara and Kwenyu wakambo vani." Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Zora Sekwa, I hope you know Sela Sungani. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's from Zora Sekwa. Then there's Lloyd Jani. Then there's there's. I know Taguzi Wachimwe. Taguzi Wachimwe, mm -hmm. Denzel Wachimwe, with the brothers. Then there's Mika Chirkwao. Yeah, so I so you had examples of people yeah, that had yeah, no come Maro out. To, yeah, so I knew I could I could do more better. I could do better than them, or I could get to that level. When when I was growing up, I could hear the, the names Nomen Maroto, so and so. So um, you get the call. Yeah. You tell your parents. You wake up the next morning. What was it like when you got to Dynamo? So what, what, what was the conversation when you then immediately told you, you've been signed up and how were the other players towards you as a youngster? You know, you know, you know, you know the most funniest thing is that I went wearing my uniform. <laughs> so then people were like, ah, come on, I'm going to I'm going to score every day. Then eventually Coach Tonde came and said, ah, this is Bill Antonio. He's one of the youngsters we are going to sign. Ah, that, was, that was even more shocking. <laughs> Just on the first day, because I thought like I, I would be going for trials, but then he eventually said, "These are the youngsters who we are we are going to sign this year." But do you think maybe that that stint that you had when uh, Tonda Indiraya was coach of uh, uh, PE Academy helped him because he already knew the potential that you have. Maybe that's what made your transition smoother. Yeah, I guess because basically, if. If 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 I was not doing if I was not going to do trials, he, he he knew what I'm capable of doing. He knew what I can do, like do do take ons, do dribbling, scoring. So he knew everything since I was in form one. So then this was I, I can say good. I chance to change new one. Kwa 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 wari kushindira good. I'm fine under Munza team. 
we're going to hear more from uh, Bill Antonio and conversations with Yvonne, the Bill Antonio edition. I have to hear. I, I'm so excited. I just want to hear about, you know, when a youngster, we're talking when I had a form five, Adipach Koro, gets in the biggest club in the country, Dynamos. In the next segment, we'll hear exactly how it was, how he settled at Dynamos. Welcome back to Conversations with Yvonne, the Bill Antonio edition. We're hearing from the youngster talking about his journey uh, from Zivarasekwa to Prince Edward. And now we were at that stage where he joined the Dynamos on his first day of training. Already, Coach Ndirai announcing to the team that he was a youngster that they were going to sign. So, Bill, when you get there, obviously, yes, you've been introduced with the coach. But what was it like, what, Matanga training with the older, because I can imagine the older players, this is a young boy, Ashika in a uniform. Yeah. How was the reception like? You know, you know, you know, Denamos, you know, their names like God knows Murira, Patson Jaure. Those are Frank Makaradi. Those are the names that I, I, Mazita Tengwonswa on Ashtamba, especially for Patson Jaure. It was like, ah, this guy, Minister five of years defense, big. Yes, Minister, Minister, yes, Minister of Defense. I'm not training with him, not playing, just training. You, you, you know, you know, you could, I, I could feel honored just to train with the big boys. But um, I know that the time that you, that you entered uh, at Dynamos, that was also the time that I came to Dynamos. And you know, people start whispering, telling you, the, and I noticed you, when I used to come to training, you seemed to have a really good relationship with Gordi. Like, he was sort of mentoring you because in the ground, at training, he'd be the one telling you instruction, telling you what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, you know when, when, when you're new, Especially if in a school, you, you, you get to find that one person whom you understand and who understands you. So then I was like, I'm cool, Mama Muga say, you know, that respect, <laughs> giving that respect. But then I was like, I'm fine. Yeah, there's no coma. We are all equal. So then I took that opportunity. That's like, ah, this guy, I think, I, I think we, we, we have that vibe. So then afterwards, I would ask him, I'm cool, my God, what can I do here? What can I do? And obviously during training, we take, Ted, Ted, my team, I got to Fanana. You know, you know, you know, like, she's mm. that on the floor. Floor, yeah. So, in my dear, I don't know, she's that on the Buddha Ziri. So, you could find uh, me, like, playing on the right, it good. Him playing the right back, me playing the right wing. But apana ka, ka resistance, obviously, ujuru chambo dynamo sa ringa taure mazita, but hau na kufesa ka resistance ere from some players. Because when Fanana ga wauya already, maybe pana umano, nunga shito fill out this trip and dreambo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, as a youngster, there were people there who were signed 2019 and years back. So then, it I can say there was stiff competition. Like, was I myself could not believe that I can get to do to to train with Dynamo. So when it comes to playing friendly matches, you know, you could face that that stiff competition. And and professional football is different from school football. So you you. you the, the the level of intensity now was different. Was different. So you know the first days, yeah, the first days are that that Sunday don't book at Ghana, and I'm going to show. But why why in Jengama Daro training guy? I you know you know you know you know you know Jengama moon yeah yeah you know there are days when I would say ah today ah I'm I'm not looking at anyone's face because I I I I I've I've got a legacy to send, you know. To people out there that are the, the youngster, the dynamos is performing well, he's training hard, you know. So, it's a way of showing people that ah, even though I'm a youngster, I can do I'm, it. I'm capable of doing this and that. But when did you start getting an idea? Because I remember, um, because I was doing you know, communications for dynamos at that time, there was this urge to say, we have to get your, you know, your kit, Bill Antonio's kit, ready. Because I think you were supposed to play right from the first uh, game, Yechibugu Super Cup. When did you get an idea, Yekuti? I think I'm, in the st I'm, 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 I'm already in the starting 11. Can I now consider in the starting 11 you training? Know, you, know, you know, if you play like three friendly matches, then you see 
in a team where Patrice Njaure is, Taimon Vula is, God knows Murira is, Jalai is one of the main players at Dynamos. He, he, like myself, I could tell that this is the this this is the probable the pro yes. probable team. So definitely, if if games are to start, then mm -hmm. I might in, be in the first eleven. And I remember my very first conversation with Bill Antonio. My first conversation with you, we hadn't talked before. I said to you, hi, my name is Yvonne Mangunda, Dynamo's communications manager. I, w I wanted you to pick a number that you yeah. would wear for your jersey. But for Bill, I didn't give him too many options. You either had to pick 24 or 16, and you chose uh, it, 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 it was it was 26, 26 or 20. The, the other number, 26 or 18, 26 uh, and 18, right? I was, I was 26 and 14. Yes. And, and you 14. picked 26. 26. Why did you choose 26? Uh, <laughs> that one. <laughs> no, okay, fine. Yeah. Given, if I had given you a choice to pick any number that you wanted, what, what number would you have picked? 29. 29. Yeah. And some of you might be wondering, why did I make him uh, pick a, 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 a number? It's because, you know, when, when the kit was done, at that time, there were no youngsters already in the fold. So already my number, Anga Piko Akudara, and then there were extra jerseys that had numbers already on the back. So he had to pick from those jerseys so we could put a name. So are you going to change your number? Number? Yeah, probably 11. 11? Yeah, I like this. So I, I've always wanted to ask you this question, Bill. Yeah. You watch your dynamos, right? I'm new, you're new. Yeah. What made our relationship, friendship, or whatever you want to call it, because it's very young uh, for me, is the fact that I was very surprised when we started. You remember when every day Bill Antonio would send me a good morning message? Yeah. <laughs> How are you, ma'am? Yeah. Good morning, ma'am. Or, and I always used to ask myself, was it the school grooming? What was it about you that made you feel like? Every time you have to wake up in the morning and say, good morning, ma'am, or ma'am, how was your day? Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, it's the grooming, I, I guess, from school. Because at PE, at Gillingham, every day, each and every day, you could do good morning, ma'am, good morning, say. And even at PE, at PE, at PE, mostly at PE, you know, you could raise a head, good morning, ma'am, good morning, even to someone you don't know. So then, it, 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 it was not surprising, because even Pandeshka background, I could greet everyone. <laughs> and, but, but, even, but, but even for me, first days, I was like, oh, this boy like takes me like every day. And I remember there's one time, yeah. one day that, there's one day that he actually didn't send me a good morning ma'am message. And I said to you, call, what? Because <laughs> I got it so used to yeah. it. I'm like, call, be always my good morning message. And I think from there, that's when, you know, there's an understanding that we always had. Yeah. And the nickname Blinky, um, from Blinky Bill, <laughs> the cartoon. <laughs> I called him Blinky. You didn't like it at first. I don't know if you, I don't even think you like it, but <laughs> no, I don't go. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, you know, you know, even my, my, my coach, Coach Moto from PE, mm. used to call me Blinky Bill in a vacation, <laughs> standing still. So, you know, you know, most people, I think they, 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 they like to give me that nickname because I'm quick. No, I have the speed. So, in, when, the, when he, when he was said Blinky Bill in a vacation, standing still, you know, even in the field of play, it's 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 very seldom of people to see me just standing in in in, in one position. In one position. Yeah. And when you look at um, the situation from when you came and now, how much have you grown? What is what has been a dynamos done to you as an individual? Because you are not like a player, Agatangira, from you know, academy, I mean, from a small team in Division 2, in Division 1, you just came from an academy uh, going uh, to the biggest team in the land. I'll get Blinky to answer that question in the next segment while he thinks about it. What are the changes that have come from him? Because he's one of the few. I know a lot of people uh, know about, you know, one of the few examples. Knowledge Musona came from Division, going straight to South Africa, never played in the Premier Soccer League. And you've got a youngster like uh, Antonio coming from high school, straight into the starting 11 of the biggest team in the country. More in the next segment.
Welcome back to Conversations with Yvonne, the Bill Antonio edition. And I was just asking him the question about how much he's grown. How much have you grown as a, as a player, as an individual, playing for the biggest uh, team in the country? You know, I can say, you know, playing for Dynamos is really... It's really, it's, it's, it's really different from playing for smaller teams, you know, in the, in the, in the, in the PSL. Because a Dynamo it requires a lot of courage, a lot of determination, a lot of hunger. Was at the training, there's stiffer competition, you know, every day, every yes. day. You could see the intensity here and there, they are, you, you, are, you, are, you are having arguments, here and there, you are having fun, fun, funny moments at, at, at ground. So then... As a player, I think reflecting back from where where where, where I've come from, you no, know, during the the pandemic, I can say I used to train with people like Peace Maka, Peace Maka, Wanda Gapinda, Masima Mambari. So then, back then, I I I could not tell that one day I I I could become a, a professional footballer, but mm -hmm. then. My mind was say yes. I, I now want to play. I want to. I now want to become a professional footballer. So what should I do? So then, the first step I took was starting to train with professional players. So then you could see that ah, training at trade is called corona. Yes, yeah. Shasiana. And you know, no go to the boss. I can sprint more than Masimama Mambari. Because Masimama Mambari has played. Wanda Kapinde has played. He's played more than. Five or six years, so ah, this ah, this Mdara is wearing out. So then you could see when when you say Tago Sprinter, you see one day I've been in front of me. <laughs> so now, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so, so now good, I, I started asking myself that. Ah, so basically, school football and professional football, these are two, two different two, things. Two different things. Even though you are 22 in the field, you are wearing different kids. But it's still different. And talking about Dynamos, let's, let's take, uh, take you back to your debut. Do you still remember your, your first game? Because I know the initial game you were supposed to make a debut. You couldn't play. It was touch and go up until the, the final, uh, uh, the Friday before the Sunday because of clearance that yeah. was needed a PSL. And there had to be a whole procedure with school records and all that. Yeah. And you couldn't play initially when you were supposed to make the debut in the first Shibugu game. You then made your debut. Do you remember which team and what it was like for you? Yeah, I think it was in the Chibugu Super Cup. We played mm -hmm. against Yada, Yada FC, and that match we won 4 0. So, you know, as a debut, you know, I, I, in personal, I believed that ah, I'm a debut, just like in Europe, you know. Mm -hmm. I could play the, the last 10 or 15 minutes. But then, you know, when, when we do our, 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 match meet, our match meetings, like before the game, mm -hmm. Then ah, the project was on, you know, everything was on set, you know. Then Coach Ndere was like, this is our starting level. And Bill Antonio. <laughs> and, and there you could find the number 26. <laughs> then I was like, yo. <laughs> was, because the confidence, like, ah, me, I'm, 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 I'm going to get in in the second half, but then only to find myself in the starting eleven. But, but I still remember that game, because what has made you different from every other player and what people noticed earlier was your pace. Yeah, yeah. How you work that wing. And you didn't look like you had nerves on your first day. You obviously had nerves, but it didn't show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, you know, you know, th there's, there's only one thing in which Coach Ndiraya always told me. Obviously, let me say the whole technical team tells me, go and enjoy. So, so I think that statement... You know, and the a pressure. You think if I change a coach, ah, if I make a mistake, this will cause the team. Because, eh, because football is all about, about mistakes. So then, you know, having those nerves, I think, not having those nerves, I think that has upped my game. Up to this very day. But which quarter, what was the reaction like? Because I remember every other time that Dynamo's used to play and Bill Antonio would start, you'd say, ha, it's a funny man drink, which quarter. What was the reception like for you? First game, you wouldn't see. You know, you know, you know, at PE, at PE, there's no way, even if I'm a senior, the Katunangan and Fan and Form One, as known Moresa, they're going to Moresa. I'm Fan on Deep. And that reception of Fan, our Pesrotinat, ah, we're going to Munuan. 
it's not like ah fa aga se ano wangu ano uta no da guda chichi drop fa na chichi boys you know seniority piece day whereby a jun every junior must greet the senior so then in any sometimes I would be selflessness kuti ndai to more sa wan in instead that name post anga na athletics captain soccer captain prefect a legend ndai kwa ndai kwa nsa more sa munhu even though nda ndai ma post yayo blazer ayire ma so then one kuch khoro white is that say be wow ya ha say be nasa ndeno kutengera bega nasa ndeno kutengera shaka you know every day vamwe ndakari pesa nani sikana ma chicken ni mwa short ha say be this weekend to go the family out in a muri sikana kuti mwe mwe po so you know vanhu vese each and every game why so best status na headmaster guy yeah you know you know you know it first headmaster why say as so to be one to ndo but then the previous month longa to move on dipa i can say the previous year pandan the athletics captain longa vhone for trophy ye prince do spirit challenge but then he could not record the face so then me and the sports director yeah 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 he's old but then he's like my friend because i can tell him everything everything about me so then sports director went on to say ah head master go rajufu nzane zvako aso sara benda go office ata sara mbenda go square master so kanzi which means yo saka wona msikanzi kwa ba chikoro because obviously ukona ukona sara enda go office square master aso sara mbenda msikanzi wona ngendes and and the and the funniest thing is that senior our senior master mr bwanya is is his army commissioner but then vakato refresh 2010 world cup So then times we sana football language kana ndika endes kwa office kwa kana ndi ato ita msikanzwa ndiko sikana ndoti ah si chimwe zvacho muno tungo zoti hakusi kudoko kwangu but this situation was i think form 344 yeah pane pango kuti ah inda isa pane pango penda ito zivana kuti ah uya ndiku manyiswa kana kuti eh hari apo for lesson chi ndo zvakani singade ndaitwa ndi chifamba so those petty issues ndo dzega residents of office but then it was not something big jotted and i go na kuna tsa teacher kana ta say so 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 if i chikoro chese kana izvo zvinga to sangana na mafana wengwe ndi sisiri kuchikoro you go see they can come say someone to the captain so obviously the reaction there kuti watambira dynamos or utambira dynamos now take me to the national team call up yeah that was something else okafonerwa okafonerwa re ukashedzwa here chicha i think i think i think we played it's is it yada yada the first league game yeah we played yada here in the national sport then tapeza the game babe and that una general manager moria san fonela shamwari we are getting into camp we are getting into camp but then my my previous days team yanga to buda team going to represent the the, the country against South Africa. Mm. But then I think it is it is Makalei Mac- Bone mm. who was unable to come. Then eventually I had to replace him. You know, you know, you know everyone everyone dreams to play to to play for the Warriors. But then to me you no know, it, it, it it was it was the long term objective. Whereby I'm saying like uh, I was I was they tell us that ah 24 25 years the yeah, the national. National team. But I'll tell you an incident. Uh, right here at the National Sports Stadium, uh, you guys were playing and because a team sheet was done, but it had two pages. So your name was on the second page. So I'm sitting there and I get a call from the manager saying, and then I'm called. Apparently, they wanted to see the team sheet and they couldn't see your name and you were playing. I think for me that was the first indication it would be maybe you play for the Warriors. But what was it like when you get there into the camp? What was the reception? Uri mfana and already kwa gara kune ma issues ku national team ekuti kune ma locally based nema foreign base. So what was it like uchishika mu camp? So, so so you know, you know The, yeah we that day but then uh, I think cool rainbow until yeah they were they were now we still local players Donovan Bernard Timon Vula Gunnar Zimurula only to name a few but then when we went to South Africa that's when when you don't have an ava I'm a big boy yeah <laughs> big boys league come a billiard no come a billiard knocks and tees go could watch my match no other like ish uh, ishma 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 is my big brother it was, it, it was no surprising scene blessing sarpinda is well. then 
you know, first day of training, Marvelous Nakamba came. I could not believe it myself. <laughs> this is the this is the real Marvelous Nakamba who I'm going to train with. You know, before playing with them, training with them to have something else. I think you see the power of, uh, you know, football players and, you know, their heroes. But before we go, Bill, I want to squeeze in this question because we never even spoke about your family. Yeah. We never spoke about your dad. How many, how many kids are you in your family? Yeah, we are four. How many boys? I'm the only boy. Only boy. Are you the first? The second. Okay. So, I'm not going to go to family. Family? Mm. Yeah, my mom. My mom is not going to go My dad was both of them. During high school, we saw it a So, in our family, every everyone did a sport. It primary, it secondary. Only to find my sister. My, my sister was was now finishing his accounting degree, and do you sad? Yes, you know that. In love for football. that, yeah. And before you go, Antonio, I want you to look at that camera. I want you yeah. to give advice to youngsters. Judging from your journey and where you've gone, what do you think they need to do? Because some of them might be looking and thinking, I'm trying to open doors, they're closing. But for you, doors open pretty quick in, in, in your career. What do you want to say to them? Yeah, I can, I, I can give one word. It's impossible. But then, with that word, there's the, there's, there's the, word, there's the letter I and the letter M, which says I'm impossible. impossible. So everything... You do. Just have that belief that everything happens for a reason. And, and your time will come. Because everything you do, it all comes up to the belief you have. Because nobody can believe it for yourself out there. You have, you have, you have that, that, that courage, that hard work, that one day. You even surpass me. Surpass Cristiano Ronaldo. It's up to you. Thank you. Hopefully the next time we talk to Bill Antonio, we'll be talking about him going to the English Premier League or the La Liga or these big leagues in the world. I know time, <laughs> time you know mania, guys. When you're having fun, when you're learning things, it was nice. First episode, conversations, of, conversations with Yvonne and I had Bill Antonio on the show and what a great insight into the youngster who made his debut for Dynamos while in Form 5. Yes, you heard me right. Form 5 for Prince Edward. Tambiracha Zunguza, the biggest team in the land. Next week, we'll make sure that we give you another great interview. And this time around, we'll be talking to the Zimbabwe women's captain, Miriam Musonda, hearing about her journey and how she got to where she is right now and the lessons along the way. Goodbye.